A very good afternoon. My name is Alok Shrivastava, and I welcome you once again to Network Nuts YouTube channel. Who is this guy? This is, you know him? Okay, guess. This is me actually. This is Mr. Alok Shrivastava, <laughs> and I just posted, uh, made the background of my photo as I'd just started going to the gym. I had hit, like hitting the gym after so long, and the results you can see here are showing up here. Wow great arms man I can tell you this so uh, am I looking smart I need feedback on that I need the comments on the video that how am I looking so it actually motivate me to hit the gym more frequent and do more exercises so this is smart pick there is no doubt about that and I know that but I want comments guys comments and good comments make sure not bad comments so apart from this photo okay I ha I have more uh, I know you, you are dying to see more pics I know that let me show you more on public demand yo let me show you there are a couple of pics it's actually being clicked by Ram uh, he's uh, working with us and he's a damn good trainer and uh, he's a guy who motivated me to hit the gym once again so all thanks to Ram so this is me oh la la good this is cute this one is really good I can tell you this so these are the four picks I'll keep on uh, posting more and showing you the more but not in this video so apart from this smart guy here that is me what is in the video actually the video is all about being smart being smart smart is actually here stands for self monitoring analysis and reporting technology in this video I'm going to show you how you can use the smart tool to check the hard disk status to check your hard disk health how can you uh, be updated that the hard disk is getting or even started creating uh, like uh, having some errors or the problems and it's the right time to replace the hard disk before one good day your hard disk crashes so that's the video all all about so it's actually we will be we are going to use a smart uh, daemon or uh, a tool that is given to us to check my hard status again i'm so you uh, if 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 you want to be a superhero not uh, the superhero like this guy here <laughs> and though i'm not a superhero i'm just a normal human okay so if you want to be a superhero of hard disk means you should be knowing that when what is the status of the hard disk when uh, the hard disk has created had started having some problem and when is the right time to replace the hard disk so that actually saves your day so one fine day it's better that you come one day and you find that your hard disk got crashed so it's always better and recommended to have continual health updates of the hard disk how can I take it I have a smart tool so here you can use the smart so here uh, for this video I'm going to use my Ubuntu machine I'm not going to use the rel machine as it's a virtual machine and uh, you I can expect some different output what is not expected actually so if you're working on a rel machine you first you can always do uh, yum and like install the smart package after then all the things are same so I here I had already installed the the smart uh, your smart D daemon so it's already being hit uh, like there so I'm going to show you a, a couple of commands for the smart so it gives you uh, like uh, what are the things that you can do with the smart smart D or smart daemon so rest you need to explore a, a bit and I'm I have no doubt then you, you that you will be able to use the, the smart in a very smart manner as the guy in the pick ha 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 okay the first command first I can the first command uh, or it can be used so I had already installed the smart so make sure you install the smart um, if you are you uh, having the rel machine I'll just repeat use the smart D press enter or smart asterisk it will or like automatically going to install the packages once the packages are installed the commands are same whether you are using Ubuntu or rel so here I am showing the video on the Ubuntu machine that's my base OS on my laptop that's great so let's uh, do some smart work so smart ctl hyphen i slash dev slash sda 
okay first thing first if you don't know your hard disk of uh, that I, I don't think that you don't know that information you can always use a fdisk hyphen l to i need to do a sudo here as it's ubuntu that's great so it tells me that my hard disk is the sda now you can use this information for rest of your like for configuring your smart or using the smart so i give the smart okay i need to give the sudo here because i'm using a ubuntu i'm repeating it again okay i give sudo i give smart ctl hyphen i slash dev slash sda this command is just will just give me the basic information about my hard disk okay let's uh, browse what comes up here so it's the version of the smart that's fine i have no issues in that that is the company western digital and it's the ata family the device model number the firmware the capacity is somewhere around 320 gb and the smart is enabled there that is means the hard disk or the hardware supports the smart that's great but it is not showing me anything related to my hard disk health this in command will merely give you the basic hard disk information that's great it's useful but right now for this video it's of no use so i'll just clear it I can repeat the same command with a hyphen H option. Show me the health. Guys, show show me the health. Health of the hard disk should be like this arms. Sh should this try should these triceps uh, so what is the health of the hard disk? Let's check whether uh, it's the hard disk is going to the gym or not. Let's see. If I give this command, look here. It just conduct a small self-assessment test and uh, to my relief the test has been passed means the basic health of the hard disk is good that is fine I had just moved one step further but I want a slightly detailed information that's great so if you are getting a passed here means your first step is passed that's good it's not a bad thing it's a very good command it but it just give you the like a summary now if you want more detailed information you just I'm just using the same command give a all show me all the test all the output of the smart CTL let me give this output that's great now it comes uh, I think slightly more in more information let's browse through all this here I'd given the command the first block is same what we had show I uh, what I had shown you in the sys smart CTL hyphen I option so it's great smart is enabled I'm not interested in this knob because I had already seen this information or output with a smart CTL hyphen I option that's great and this if you see there the health option is coming up here so I had already gone through this so again I am not interested in this let's move further okay offline uh, here I'm going to just uh, show you or tell you the major points because you need to dig or work on the smart CTL to configure it as per your needs but this is definitely going to give you a kickstart kind of stuff that you should be aware of what is smart okay let's move further offline data collection was never started what is offline actually if I turn the offline on I'll show you the command how to make it on if it was on it means the hard disk automatically runs the background test when it is idle so though because I am not using that facility the offline data is on if it was on it means when my hard disk has got no IO or, or it's idle smart smart daemon will automatically sh like start checking of the hard disk it's a good option but it's not required for me that's great it's off again offline capabilities are off that's good power saving mode is there that's great okay one more uh, very interesting information here is that short self self test it actually gives you the time that if you are uh, conducting or you are planning to conduct a short self test on the hard disk it will take two minutes and if you are planning to conduct an extended self test it will take 122 minutes depending up upon the hardware architecture and the capacity of the hard disk that is good that is good information and let's move down further okay sorry yeah yeah these jargon what is this oh my god holy cow <laughs> let's see okay 
this information is very uh, important to you in the in this whole output uh, if if you want to uh, learn about all these uh, attribute name i um, like uh, recommend you to go through the man pages of, of the cctl but right now uh, right now i am just uh, giving you a brief idea how can you find from this information about the hard status the rule of thumb is that you will be more interested in the where the type is the prefill so i am more interested in those uh, rows where it is prefill that's great so make sure that against the prefill the value of the row should never go below the the threshold value so in my case my hard disk seems to be working fine because against this first column of prefill the th the threshold value is 51 whereas my value is 200 so i'll just repeat the rule of the thumb again make sure that against the prefill value row the value column should never go below the threshold value and if i s if it is there if you see that here the threshold value is 51 and if I'm getting a value of say 20 here it's the right time to change the hard disk right now and go to the market and buy a new new hard disk because it is going to fail any moment so I think this is the most in, uh, important information uh, that you uh, that the smart CTL gives you at your level right now so this is again a higher value this is again a higher value this is again a higher value then this is again a higher value one more pre fail here this is a, 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 like a higher value so that means my hard disk right now is working perfectly and I need not to spare the money to buy one more hard disk or to buy a spare hard disk that is good it's a relatively very good information and uh, no self test has been logged you can configure the self test and uh, when you want the smart CTL to update you automatically regarding some errors you can do all those things okay if you want to though I'm not doing it if you want to enable the offline checking what I had uh, told you you can always give the command okay as I'm not going to execute it smart CTL hyphen O on that's it this will automatically enable the offline checking means whenever your hard disk goes idle the smart CTL automatically checks for the hard disk or for like uh, the your uh, routine check on the hard disk now one more thing I like to share with you before I end this video you can configure the smart CTL to gives you automatic uh, logs and errors on on your mail to check the you can configure smart CTL for uh, giving you the uh, mail or the message when the like the temperature exceeds to a particular point and so on so all these things can be configured via the main configuration file that is smart CTL smart D sorry smart D dot conf if you just open this file this is the main configuration file and just go through this you can easily find out like the device scanning time it it looks for the temperature you just need to uncomment this or activate this and then configure the values as per your uh, preferences but for that you need to just dig a bit on the smart CTL one very small thing that I'd like to share you here is that I'll just uh, go let's just that's it here it is a very silent check only re report smart health status if fails but sends an email if you want that the smart should send you the mail regarding a silent check just uncomment this line that's it that s gives you the basic thing that's it and just change your hard disk here so this file can be very handy but you need to go through a bit and learn about the attributes and all the features but the, the smart can from here the smart can be configured to give you the output reporting reporting is being configured via the smart D dot conf I'm not saving it and rest of the things can be monitored here so this was all about the smart it's a very good tool I uh, recommend you all of you who are seeing this video to please start using the smart as far as your uh, commercial servers or the production servers are concerned 
so i hope you like the video thank you very much see you again soon with more biceps and more triceps bye god bless thank you